in this video we will be covering about the xml cryptography xml cryptography will be fairly simple as compared to the jc and the pgp we will uh, observe the same thing so um, we have to add the cryptography module as we have done uh, in the previous video with jc cryptography so you have to just click on the search in exchange and search for crypto it will take a moment and it will load the available module you have to just select it put it on to the right hand side as selected module using this add button and click on finish since i have already done it so i will not click on finish and i will click on cancel rather and for the xml use case there are four different activities available xml decrypt encrypt sign and validate i will try to use all of these variables somehow within our flow and will uh, try to use um, to showcase the same okay the first uh, flow is xml encrypt in which we will be using xml encrypt and decrypt so as the name suggests it is going to encrypt the xml message and it is going to decrypt as well so it is a post method and listening on slash xml encrypt on the path i am going to lock the uh, incoming payload after that i will going i will xml encrypt it you can select any algo uh, out of these three i will go with default and there is a element path so this element path calls out for if you want to encrypt only a specific element and if you are keeping it blank then it will encrypt the entire payload the apml keys and all the things i will go with default like rsa and oep you have you are having multiple options and canonical algorithm i will use the ex exclusive uh, other than that it is having with comments and inclusive with comments or without comments similarly the digest algorithm which is being used in this apml key will be sha1 apart from that you can also have 256 512 depending on your use case so let's now discuss about this model configuration i you have to just click on this plus sign and a window will pop up like this let me show you the configuration of the same i will click on this uh, sign and uh, i am using the same same uh, jck file which we have used in jce same thing we are going to follow jck s is the key id alias is as key and this is a symmetric key again i'll close this window and go back to the message flow i am going to log the message the encrypted one after that i am going to decrypt it using the same model configuration and element path i am keeping it as blank i will show you the two different variation so let's try to execute it let me clear up the console i will open up my postman and we'll go with this dummy xml and i will click on the send button it has returned me the decrypted payload let's check the uh, logs so the first one is xml encrypted request received is this logger it is printing the incoming payload after that it is going to uh, encrypt it so xml encrypted from here to till here it has encrypted each and everything so first of all the note section the encrypted data it is showing me after that the key name which is being used the cipher data and the cipher value and it is ending the note the entire end to end xml is now encrypted and when it is going to decrypt it is decrypting the entire payload between note uh, as the parent uh, tags now let's try to uh, modify a bit i am going to encrypt only the body part of it i will save this project so that it can start building it on its own we are good let's try to hit it again let's clear up the console as well one second okay. 
I need to remove it for one second. I will clear up the console once again and uh, we'll try to hit. So here you can see this is the original payload request received. After that it has encrypted the body part of it. This one is the encrypted body. And once it is being decrypted, this is the original don't forget me this weekend. So it has decrypted the very particular uh, element. So this was about the basic XML encrypt and decrypt. Now let's jump to the XML sign. So for this, I'm going to read a XML file. So I have just uh, taken the same sample which we have used in our use case. You can see over here the same uh, XML. It is going to read it and then we are going to sign it using this particular combination. So let me first go to the model configuration. You have to just click on this plus sign and a window will come up like this. You need to configure it with XML self-signed uh, JKS. And uh, the way to create this self-signed uh, JKS, I will I will quickly walk through it. After that, uh, I have used the asymmetric key. You can use the symmetric as well. And there is no problem in that. And you have to just remember the key ID and the alias which are being used over here. Uh, this is Tomcat and key ID is JKS. I will click on cancel and show you the uh, way to create this self cert uh, sign. So this is the, uh, let me expand this. Let me put it here. So uh, you have to just open your terminal and type this key tool gen key key algo RSA alias is tomcat then key store then the directory path then the name of the certificate validity is for 365 days you can configure it and the key size is being 2048 after that it will start interactively it will open up uh, a prompt asking for passwords re-enter password and the rest of the things finally it is going to uh, save the entire uh, structure and you can uh, you can see your self signed jks I have uh, copy paste this self signed JKS over here. You can see, and the same is being used in the configuration now. I will go to the message flow once again and let me try to run this XML sign enveloping. So, enveloping, uh, I will show you the difference between the enveloping and the detach uh, sign. So, we have discussed about this model configuration and if you check for this type it is giving me the option like detached and developed and enveloping so over here i am using enveloping and the key id is jks and the jc key info that we have already configured um it is the following the same um, way and then there is a logger which is going to log the encrypted payload okay I will clear up this console and go to the my postman. I will click on the send button. I will come back to this and will try to show you something. So this logger is going to print this particular message. So how does it look like? Uh, let me take it out and put it on a text editor. So just try to observe it. From here our response XML get started. And here you can see the signed info is getting started. Canonical it is uh, giving me all the declaration. Then the signature method. The digest value which is being used and it is cl closing all the brackets accordingly and then it starts the signature value it is start giving me all the signature value then the signature key info and then it starts with the x509 certificate details and it closes all the things and 
in the very end of it you can see uh, this particular object is getting created so in short this entire object is being signed with a particular uh, signed uh, key and it is enveloping uh, enveloping means it is being placed at the top of this object as an envelope now if I check for this the second option that is I have just changed it to detached so what it is going to do let, let me try to run this as well we'll click on this we'll take this out let's take it out from the console so this is the encrypted payload so here you will see the placing of the signature is at the end and that is detached from the main uh, main uh, object or the main xml it is being detached from that particular section it is adding at the end of it so this is the uh, main difference between the enveloping and the detached form of uh, and within the uh, i have tried to use this xml validate as well and the same configuration is being used like for uh, the key id and and this suggests uh, xml sign i can show you the configuration once again so same is being used So in this way we have covered all these uh, four different options available for XML crypto. Um, I hope you like this video and in case of any concern just uh, comment back in the uh, comment section of this particular video which is going to upload in YouTube very soon. And thanks for watching.